Uh, additions, deletions, reordering. Nothing for me, Madam Mayor. I just want to make a quick announcement why I have everyone um, here in the beginning. May 19th, immediately after the 6 p.m. <laughs> regular meeting, there will be a work session to discuss and hear public comment on the ITN. The public's com comments will be extended to three minutes. And that will be a workshop May 19th, immediately following the 6 p.m. regular meeting. If you have any questions, please contact Pam or any of us. Thank you. <coughs> Presentations. First up, 2015 Florida Lyman Rodeo. I don't know if the guys are here yet. <coughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Dude, Walt, you want to bring everybody in? Come sure. on. Uh, Mayor and commissioners. I know I'm, I'm uh, taking up technology challenge. Hey, guys. Are y'all going to do it? I'm going to try to do it. Okay. Um, Welcome, welcome, Wait, welcome. Y'all you know, just uh, take that first row there. You can even double up. I'm kidding. <laughs> we went to Tallahassee uh, with the gentleman here, the lineman from our, our electric utility department, and I had the distinct pleasure of attending uh, the 15th Annual Florida Lineman Rodeo Competition, which was hosted by Tallahassee's uh, electric utility. And it's uh, put on by the Florida Municipal Electric Association each year. And um, all the municipal... Uh, folks that confront a team, uh, you know, go to this competition, and it was a tremendous experience for me. Um, not only to see the, the sheer physical nature and prowess of, of our linemen, but um, to get to know the guys a little better, and uh, spend all day wearing a, a long sleeve blue shirt and a hat, <laughs> and it's a thousand degrees and a hundred percent humidity. But I wasn't climbing the poles. But I wanted y'all to see um, what went on and, and get to know your linemen a little bit. Let's see if I can make this happen here. Um, this was the grounds here, and the team, as you can see up in the right, it's quite a big deal. They occupied a um, large set of fields near I-10 there in Tallahassee at, at the Auto Museum. So it was, a, it was a quite a large, I don't know how many acres it was, but you can went out there and there's all these poles they had set up with the different kinds of competition. And uh, it, was, it was really well attended. It was quite amazing. Um, this was just one of the, the competitions that the gentlemen uh, were involved in. But as you can see here, this is what they're wearing. And what, what does that outfit weigh with all the, the gear? Uh, and, at least, yeah. And, and, you know, by the time they get their safety gear on, they've got all the various lines and, and um, different things they have to be used for their tools. And then they've got these spikes that they climb up the pole. Um, it's like watching lumberjacks. Um, and it's quite amazing, and it's quite dangerous. As a matter of fact, during one of the competitions early on, that one gentleman, a couple of lines over, he let loose and fell. He walked it off, but it wasn't. He hit the ground. Break. We heard it. Um, but this is a competition here. I don't know. Is that Carlos up there? No, that's uh, Willie. Willie. That's Willie. Willie, yeah. one of the apprentices. One of our apprentices. <laughs> <laughs> we sent him up. <laughs> There's Willie. I see him over there, um, and and you know they're they're up at the tops of these poles, switching out this cross arm, and you know th this competition is you know they have to go from one side to the other, and you can't um, drop a tool, you can't misstep, or you get what's called a ding, I guess it is, or jig, which is gig, gig, gig. Yeah. gig, gig. Okay, I'll get the lingo, um, but um, you know they're they're graded on how well they perform, not only in time, but that they do this, and I, it's best described as a dance. It really, it's, it's choreographed the way they handle the equipment and move around the pole and do their di different things. And, and it's an amazing thing to watch. I was, I was amazed. And there's just a couple more shots. I think I've got some video in here somewhere. Oh, this is, it. is that it? Can you hit the, now this is me up the pole. Um, <laughs> <Okay. back. laughs> this is me. Where? On the left there, see me hanging? <laughs> That's me. And as you can see, um, is that Willie again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had this rope around my neck, and I was playing the injured man, and literally, if somebody's injured at the top of the pole, they have to practice and know how to take that person down safely, and, and go through a routine that, that clears, you know, clears them down, gets them down, so they can be treated. And that's one of the competitions, and our guys are very proficient at it, it's an amazing thing. And then the other one uh, just shows somebody climbing the pole there. I could no more do that. 
Dallas car was right there. There's car. So how do you know this is in? Get the old man up there. All right. So um, here was uh, what was amazing was you know we had the uh, apprentice team um, and the individual events and um, if you look over on the left there, Mike Mike Costello. Where's Mike? He, he's not here. Okay. Mike's an interesting character. I got a chance to talk to him quite a bit, but um, he he had no gigs and he, he had a perfect score. I mean, he didn't have any anything go wrong in his performance, and that was his overall time. Um, Willie, where's Willie? He's hiding over there. <laughs> he's a machine. This guy's a machine. Um, uh, he had two deductions. But his overall time was amazing, and his score was right there at, at 500. And then the team was amazing. Um, which again, uh, Carlos, Corey, uh, Chris, and Bill. Six deductions overall time, 494 out of 500. And, and our team was very, very um, well placed and did a great job and represented the city of Lake Worth um, admirably. Um, and to me, you know, getting a chance to actually go up there and see, see them working all day long and going through this time, I was so impressed. And, and extremely proud, and I just wanted to let y'all know that this event goes on each year. We had talked about maybe even in three or four years hosting it. Um, there's a lot of folks that follow this event, families and teams from all this, and it, it actually creates a heads and beds kind of an experience that we might be able to get some TDC money to help host it here and, and maybe cooperate with uh, Homestead and Kissimmee because they're their closest neighbors because they come together. But what a greater place in Lake Worth to host this event. So that's one of the things we talked about as well. But I'm so incredibly proud of our employees, our linemen. I'm proud of the guys who stayed back and actually um, took care of business while these gentlemen were up in Tallahassee. You know, thanks to them that they were they were here doing the job and, and allowed them the ability to go up. Um, with that, I just wanted to let Walt Gill, our acting utility director, if you had any comments or any of the guys wanted to, to say anything. Um, we have a 10 minute slot, so. Uh, Actually, um, Mike is still, Mike is still, uh, who's on vacation today. He ranked 19th out of the entire state of Florida. Uh, that's, that's very impressive for um, Mike is He's actually a first year apprentice for us. So that's very impressive. Um, Sam Jackson, he's a city of Lake Worth foreman. He was actually a rodeo judge, so he's the one that uh, he gigged us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's a good judge. So it was all on the up and up and everything. Like that, so it was all good. Uh, Bill Zimmer, he is not here right now. Um, he is a city of Lake Worth foreman, radio team member. Carlos Diaz, uh, fabulous lineman for the city of Lake Worth. Um, he's here religiously. Back and let every call. You know, he's a go-to guy right there. Uh, radio team member Chris Paris, city of Lake Worth troublemen. Radio team member. He's actually the first person, first responder on the scene. Guillermo Willie Kansas our animal. <laughs> uh, he's a third year apprentice. Exceptionally, uh, exceptionally uh, well versed in what he's doing, and, and can't wait to uh, release him out. Uh, Corey Johnson, uh, also not present. He's a second year apprentice. He performed very well as well. Uh, also, um, on the apprentice side, Brian uh, Tetchinet. He uh, was up there as a rodeo team helper, and Scott Sprinkle, uh, substation foreman, was also up there as a rodeo team helper. Uh, the group of guys you got over there are fabulous. Uh, like Mike said, they're here, just like the sign says. It doesn't matter what's going on outside, they're coming in, and they're going to restore your power as quickly as possible, safely, as, as, as best as we can. So uh, I hand it to them. We're very proud of you and very honored. I try to show my appreciation by going up there, but when I told my husband that I was going up to see a dozen or so really good-looking men who work on the lines in our city, he wasn't too pleased with that. So maybe next year I'll get him to go with me so I can come visit. The, the, I promised the guys that at some point they're going to get me in some of those spikes and try to climb one of those poles. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> you come and laugh at me. You know, but, but we appreciate that. So we just want to take this time to express our uh, appreciation, admiration, and thanks for the job you do recognize this event and we'll be back next year and from your entire commission thank you very much for everything that you do especially we headed into storm season we know how tough it is out there guys no we're thinking about you all the time and you're important to us all right thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you.